Hello and welcome to the first video of our uh, Zone Tool tutorial series. In this video, I'm going to go over our overview page where we list all the automation that we can run on your account. Uh, the first automation that I'm going to explain you about with my own word will be the Keyword Guardian. Keyword Guardian is an automation that based on the traces that you give to our system, which are uh, maximum spend without a sale, maximum ACOS, and also in a limited way uh, conversion rate. We do look at the conversion rate just for a very specific set of keywords uh, which I'm going to explain in one of the following videos. So based on the tracer you give us we will go through several times a day through your account and check for all the enabled keywords and whenever a keyword moves above your set tracer we will pause it. At the same time we will look all your post keywords and if a keyword register a sale and moves back within your set threshold, we will re-enable the keyword back. Uh, now you might ask, why do we look at also the post keyword? Simply because Amazon gives a, a data of based on a seven days conversion window. So Amazon allows a customer up to seven days after a click to buy the item. So imagine the customer journey, they see your ad, they click, they look at the listing, they decide to buy it, they add to cart. Not always a buy straight away. So what they're going to do, they're going to allow this user up to seven days. This means that a keyword which generated uh, a few clicks a day, let's say you spend $20 today on clicks and there's no sale, doesn't mean that it's necessarily a bad keyword. Simply means that whoever clicked didn't pay it or didn't buy it. And Amazon keep seven days window open to register the sales. Okay, so we go through all the post keywords and if we see that sales data comes in and the echoes drops within your set threshold, we will re-enable. The next automation we'll discuss is called Keyword Recycler. Uh, keyword Recycler will work on any keyword that has been posed for more than seven days. Uh, what we will do, all right, first of all, when a keyword gets posted for more than seven days, mostly because of higher ACOs, this means that there's not going to be any more sales data coming in from Amazon. So uh, the statistic that we receive for that keyword after they've been posted for seven days are final and will not change in the coming time. So what we do, based on your uh, resulting ACOs, your bid and your average cost per click that you receive, we will create an hypothesis. We will calculate a lower bid uh, that we think will move that keyword to a break-even or profitable ACOS and we will test this hypothesis, so this keyword with a lower bid in a separate test ad group. And assuming that this hypothesis fails on the first test, so even though we dropped the bid, we tested it, the ACOS is still above your threshold, we will create another hypothesis, another lower bid, and in another additional test to ad group, which uh, where we will test again this lower bid. And now we will keep doing this segmented bidding and break it down all the way to either to zero or until we find uh, a bid that will make that specific keyword uh, break even or profitable for you. Uh, in my experience, I've been testing this uh, keyword cycle uh, automation for the last year and 50% of the keyword which I will never ever ever run again simply because I couldn't make any money was everything that I lost. 50% of those I'm able to bring them back, find a good keyword and keep generating sales, uh, a break even or a profit. The next automation I'm going to explain you is Keyword Miner. Keyword Miner does what any VA or any uh, business owner or any PPC manager should always do. Uh, keyword Miner several times a day goes through your custom short term report and find all those terms that are converting within your given thresholds that we discussed up here and that are relevant to your product and add them back to our uh, system of campaigns. Uh, what do I mean as system of campaigns? I refer to what we call PGNs. All right, so Keyword Miner can only run on our system of campaign. A PGN can be created using the button up here 
uh, what pgn means is product group name. What we will do when you create campaigns from within our system, we will create a, a specific set of campaigns for you. Exact, phrase, broad, and auto campaign. And we will manage all within this ecosystem for campaigns. We will manage bidding, we will manage uh, negative terms, we will manage keyword mining. And because we create this set for you, we know how is um, structure, we can have a freedom to look for relevant customer search terms and add them back, knowing that we know where to add them and that us adding them back will not affect the performance of your products or of your campaign. Uh, what we do with the terms, whenever we find a term, we're going to put it back in the exact campaign as exact match, in the broad campaign as broad match, in the phrase campaign as phrase match, as well as negating it at the exact match within the phrase campaign and at the phrase match within the broad campaign. This will allow uh, the system and you to have an extremely segmented uh, set of campaigns. Uh, each campaign is bidding on different keywords, different custom search terms, as well as each campaign keep growing and fishing, especially broad, auto and phrase match. Uh, growing uh, your uh, organically growing the set of keywords you bid on and finding always longer and longer and longer long tails that will um, increase your bottom line. Bid Gambler over here, what this does is assuming that you create a campaign either on Amazon and then you push the data to our dashboard or you create a set of PGN or campaigns within our dashboard and assuming that the default bid of the campaigns and the keywords that are within the campaign are too low in order to generate clicks. What BitGamber will do will periodically look at the keywords that have not received a click and increase the bid of a fixed amount which you tell our system in order to achieve the first click. Now, this is based on the assumption that your product are optimized, whatever keyword you give us to run or you give to Amazon to run is a keyword that is relevant to the product which you expect a click on and if this is true the only reason why you're not getting a click is because the ad is not showing in the right place or you're not uh, bending enough for the PPC algorithm to show the ad in the right place. Uh, that's why we will periodically increase the bid until you finally reach a click. Um, we top this one up to $5. If by uh, with a $5 bid, you still have no clicks, we will not increase anymore. Please mind, you're not going to pay $5. Just because you bid $5, you will not pay $5. And just because you bid $5, if there are no clicks, you still pay zero. So BitGamber, although the gambling name might sound risky, doesn't play any risk for you. And also keep in mind that whenever any other of the triggers here moves, so too much spend or too high cost, we will still pause it. But again, because this bit camera works only on keyword but there's no clicks, there is no risk for you because you haven't paid anything until you get a click. By the time you receive the first click, BitGamber will automatically deactivate itself for that specific keyword and BitNailer will start. What BitNailer will do, BitNailer, BitNailer will wait for a, a fixed amount of clicks that you give us. Uh, by default, our system waits for 10 clicks, but you can wait for 5, 8, 10, 15, 20, doesn't matter. This can be discussed on one hour course. But BitNailer, after BitGamber generated the first click, BitNailer will wait for this X amount of clicks before looking at your average cost per click and updating the bid based on your average post, post cost per click plus a fixed amount, which is the same fixed amount with gambler was gambling was adding on top. Now the contest of bid nailer is this one. Uh, why we work on on the average and we add a fixed amount on top of the average? Because if you bid two dollars and your average is one resulting average cost per click is one dollar. If we were just to 
update your bid to one dollar, your next average cost per click will be 0 0.7 or somewhere around there. And if we kept just updating your uh, bid based on your energy cost per click, we will eventually drive your bid to zero and you will lose visibility, volume, and sales on that specific keyword. So what we decided to do is decided to look at the average cost per click, but this is what the market is telling you. It's the right price to pay for a click. And in order to stay relevant within what the market tells you is relevant, you need to bid a little bit more. And this is done by our bid nailer. So bid nailer, you will decide how much more than the average you want to bid in order to keep your average stable and don't lose against your competition. And the last one is uh, Terminator. What Terminator does is exactly the opposite of Keyword Miner, but as Keyword Miner, Terminator works only within our PGNs. So it works only on what I explained earlier, which are our product group names, which are a specific set of uh, campaigns that we create for you, which I will cover uh, in our uh, last video. Um, so Terminator uh, constantly goes through all your customer short term report and identify customer short terms that are either not converting at all and costing your money or converting, but not doing so within your set threshold and what we will do, we will add them as negative within our PGN ecosystem. We will add them as negative in the auto campaign, we will add them as negative uh, in the broad campaign as exact match and we will add them as negative and phrase campaign as exact match. We will not add them in the exact campaign yet simply because like I discussed earlier for the keyword garden, there is a delay in how Amazon assign a sale. So, a search term that now looks like it's bleeding, it might not be in a week. So we want to keep the exact campaign untouched without a negative because if that's the case and the same search term that Terminator negated now across three campaigns turns out to be a good term, we will still be adding it as positive inside our exact campaign. Okay, so this is the work of Terminator. Uh, again, as I say, Terminator currently can work only on uh, campaigns that you generate within our system, which we call PGN, simply because uh, although technically we can read the customer short term report, and we do read the customer short term report of your existing campaigns, we have no idea your setup, we have no idea your strategy. So for us, going and adding back negative terms might be hurtful for the performance or your current setup of whatever strategy you are running outside of our platform. Oh, I hope this uh, explanation has been good. If I miss something, uh, please be free to ask me either on Skype or on our first or uh, incoming calls. Um, as for the next video, I will show you for the first time the platform, the data we show you, and how uh, you can filter by time, by pause enable, or by text feature. Uh, thank you very much for watching and I'll catch you up in the next video.